Hey, how's it going YouTube? So today my project at hand is going to be doing another natural gas burner setup. If you follow my channel, you know I just finished building a natural gas evaporator for maple syruping. And now this is, could be used for that uh, on a very small scale. Uh, or your regular turkey fryer, or if you're going to be doing fish boils or crawfish boils. This would work perfect for that. So what we got going on here is it's going to be 16 inches wide by 16 inches deep. Then it's going to be 18 inches tall overall. I'm going to have a 32 jet uh, natural gas burner that's uh, 160,000 BTUs. Uh, this is all going to be made out of uh, plate steel or sheet steel. And I'm going to be cutting all this out with the plasma cutter versus making it out of uh, angle iron and then having to uh, uh, plate it anyways. So I figure, well, it might be a little bit heavy, I'm thinking, and it's actually going to make it more durable. So we'll see how that goes, because I'm going to be using eighth inch steel for the outside. So these pan supports here are going to be made out of quarter inch steel, one and a half inches wide. They're going to be offset off the top, about a half inch. I'm figuring uh, about six inches of space in, in between opposing sides. So that would mean... Uh, at least the directly across ones are going to be about five inches wide. We got the burner on the same quarter inch uh, steel, and that's just going to run on a diagonal based on how the burner actually mounts to it. And uh, that's going to be down uh, seven inches from the top of the pan here, so seven and a half overall. That should give me the clearance of six inches from the tips of these jets to the top of the burner here and then uh that's pretty much the plan uh this is kind of just cosmetic add in the little arch there just to make it look a little more professional i got a handles on each side that i'm just going to use some half inch rod for and i thought about doing like the coil the hot coil springs on here but i, I just don't think the price is justified you're not going to touch it when it's hot regardless this thing's going to be pretty heavy so you're going to have to Put it up against you either way to carry it around so i'm not too concerned about that this thing will be cooled off anytime you're planning on moving it so i'll pan you through the parts we got here you got ignition there got some miscellaneous uh three quarter inch and one inch stuff because my house is plumb for one inch uh the blade there i'm going to use for making that arc with the plasma this is that burner, the 32 jet, 160,000 BTU. We got a half inch rod there. And then there's the quarter inch by one and a half steel. I hate doing it, but I had to buy that at the big box store because I wasn't going to run out to the uh, steel mill just to pick up a couple things. And then over here, we got that sheet of steel that I'm going to make it all happen with, hopefully. And like I said, that's eighth inch steel. Probably a little overkill for this, but it's what I have on hand. So we're going to make it happen. There's going to be a lot of measuring and plasma cutting for sure. So stay tuned.
Alright, just a quick up close look where I'm at right now. I think it's turning out pretty nice. Next step is uh, just to tack these corners up on each side and then I'll square this whole thing up and then I'll weld up all the seams. If you saw, I tried to uh, cut off the plasma cutter right here and leave about two inches, but that was just too much in order to bend. So I had to come back and cut it within about a half inch each side. And that seemed to work out real nice. So once I weld all that up and grind it down, it should look halfway decent. Some of my starts and stops weren't the best, as you can see right there. But nothing a little weld can't hide and then grind it down as I'm going to have to anyways. So just a quick update. That's where I'm headed next. Well, unless I'm missing something, I just lost a bunch of footage of welding all this up and grinding it down. Uh, I mean, nothing really spectacular happened, but uh, unfortunately that might be uh, not in this now. But this is where I'm at now. Got all the welds ground back down. I'd say it's turning out pretty nice. Next step is uh, I'm going to start taking this uh, quarter inch stock and cutting it down to make the uh, grates for up top and the support for in the middle to carry the burner.
All right, you guys, well, here's where I'm at now. I got that center support drilled out and ready to get welded. I got it marked on the inside there, eight inches down. Then I have uh, all the grates all cut up, ready to go. I cut these little blocks of wood. You'll see what I'm gonna do with those, but it's gonna be in order to space uh, the grates off the uh, table here. Just to try and keep them all as flat as possible. Probably gonna be using just spot welding those in for the most part uh, to start and then do a little beads. And then I got those handles uh, completed. So those are ready to get welded on as well. So everything's welded up, handles are on, all the grates are on there. As you can see, I've put in that burner and I've attached just a little piece of black pipe nipple and that's gonna tell me where to drill my hole. I'm just gonna mark that out, do a little pilot hole and then I'll use a hole saw. Looks like a one and an eighth will be a nice uh, tight fit for it. So we'll do that next. Got the hole drilled in here. Got it just mocked up for right now. That's a four inch nipple on there. It could be just a little bit less. Uh, the store didn't carry a three and a half. Just to make it look a little better, I might make up a three and a half inch uh, nipple. Just thread one up. And then I just got an adapter going into one inch. And then this is a one inch union that I'll be using to hook up to my one inch gas line. Otherwise, it's really coming together. Next thing, I'm just gonna start uh, cleaning up any of these welds, anything that needs to be touched up, and then we'll be off to painting. All 
All right, so what I got here is just a eye bolt through the hole for the burner. I'm using that just to keep it up in the air so I can paint it. First, what I'm going to do is wipe it down with some wax and degreaser. I got uh, some high temp paint just laying around here. So I'm just going to thin that out a little bit with acetone and just spray it through the gun. It's been a couple days now and the paint's had a chance to set up. Some of you may have noticed I never drilled a hole to mount the ignition and that's because I don't really plan on using it anymore. I feel like it's kind of just overkill or not necessary as it's so simple just to light it. So the next step I'm going to be doing is mounting up the burner and the piping to feed it. Well, that wraps up the build video on this burner. All that's left to do is try it out, so watch for a video coming out of the test of this. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything I put out. And leave a comment if you have any questions about this burner or if you want to comment on how you think it turned out, that'd be great. Thanks for watching, you guys.